Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to the to my first video with PC Education's YouTube channel. My name is Tonmoy Hossein. I'm an instructor and an administrative employee of PEC Education. You already heard about PEC Education, which is the finest institution in Dhaka. And PEC Education is the genuine agent of PTE Academic Bangladesh. So what I'm going to discuss today, very general points like how you deal with PTE exam before taking any preparation or before exam while you are taking preparation how you deal with it there are many questions we face when we teach student PTE like so how many marks or what will be the score like some some students they come to us by uh, this type of like with this type of idea that uh, PT is very easy it's very easy like maybe his or her uh, friend uh, suggested him to sit for the PT while he was he or she was taking preparation for IELTS so why 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 it is easy and what sort of problem uh, a student face let me give you some points when student take preparation for PT they should be very careful about the format they have to understand what actually PT is like what sort of things happens when someone appearing PT exam so let's start with some common points how you will deal with PT exam first of all you have to understand the exam format we all know that PT is a computer based exam and it is comprised with four modules speaking writing reading and listening and it's a two hours exam i'm telling you again it's a two hours exam the score is 10 to 90. don't compare like don't uh, come up with something like yeah when someone asks you that what is your desired score some people answer it in a way that i need a score which is like il7 our il7 but il6 then why you are sitting for pt go for ielts exam because the score of pt is 10 to 90. so you should say that yes my desired score is 50 or 58 or 65 or above 70. so you have to understand the language so what i was saying you is pt exam is comprised of four modules every single module has some particular task like speaking has five tasks then writing has two then reading has five and listening has eight so you have to be very careful while appearing the pt you have to know this bible you have to memorize all these tasks because this will come frequently while you are going to appear the exam and the next thing is you need to be very much focused and you need to understand which one is coming first some of them will be reshuffled during the exam so you don't need to get scared like you don't need to get like nervous that oh my god why this one came no you don't need to so try to understand the format try to understand the language of an english proficiency test like while you are appearing any kind of english proficiency test you have to know the rules so this is the rules of pt exam and finally i want to say that after exam you will get the result by 24 hours max 24 hours it may be like while you have finished your exam you are going on the way to home and you found in your email that your exam your scorecard is there so there might have possibility to get your scorecard quicker what's the next point you have to be very careful about reading and listening of course you have to be very careful about all the modules but especially reading and listening you know why because in reading we are not good at it we Bangladeshi students sometimes um, get lots of problem while reading anything we feel bored while we read a book we, we, we get sleep so quickly so we need to make it more interesting while you are reading don't just you don't need to understand every single word while you start reading from the beginning just read while you are reading just read take a pencil 
mark the words, write it down on the paper and read. Try to enjoy your reading. And another problem we face is listening because most of our students don't understand. Yes, it's not your fault. It's maybe we don't sit with English, we don't speak English, we don't uh, like write English or we don't read English. Like one thing you might have heard that if you want to be a good speaker, you have to be a good listener. And if you want to be a good writer, you have to be a good reader. So we don't have practice to read. That's why we don't write well. And we don't speak because we don't listen well. And of course we listen well, but maybe we don't understand. We need to understand while we are listening. So in PTE exam, while you are appearing the task, like the items like uh, summarize the spoken text or like highlight incorrect summary or uh, highlight correct summary then um, select missing word multiple choice in this type of item you need to be very careful and you have to be a fast reader fast reader doesn't mean that you have to be a superman okay blah 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 i'm reading and then i got the answer no you have to follow the technique your online portal will never give you this type of technique. You have to get this technique from any PTE instructor. For example, we are the official agent of PTE Bangladesh. So we can give you this sort of guideline. No one, not other institutions. So let's go to the next point. Uh, build your vocabulary. I'm telling you again, I'm telling you again build your vocabulary. Maybe you can tell me that vocabulary is not that important for PTE because you already maybe took preparation for IELTS and you know a lot of like bombastic vocabulary like the difficult words. No, PTE never asks for any difficult words. You will find these things in writing. While you are writing, writing means typing because it's a computer based exam. So you have to type. And while you are typing, you don't need to be a professional typewriter. You just need to put an alarm in your brain that my exam is for 20 minutes. I have to appear, write an essay for 20 minutes and I have to appear, summarize written text for 10 minutes. So if you set an alarm in your brain while you are practicing, your typing skills will be improved at home. So you don't need to be a professional writer. Like, I'm not sure how to say that in a minute, you can write a short word, a short word, a short word. So don't worry about this. But vocabulary is not the case. Because while you are typing, most of the time, we Bangladeshi students, most of the time, what we do, we always come up with a complex sentence and compound sentence. Like, I am going to school while it was raining and that moment it was happening, blah, blah, blah. No, just put it in an independent sentence. Yes, you will be doing a complex sentence, compound sentence while you are appearing, summarize written text. In that case, please be aware of spelling and vocabulary. Because while you are writing essay, if you don't use the reasonable vocabulary, you might get lose one mark from the vocabulary section. And if you use like unused or irrational vocabularies, you might face these spelling mistakes from there. So please be aware of this, okay? And please do lot of lot of lot of typing practice at home. Just write anything. Find a topic and then start writing set a goal that today I'm going to write 100 words in 10 minutes, then another 100 words for another 10 minutes, then it will be fine, easy. Okay, let's go to the next topic. Uh, practice PT mock test. Yes, without mock test, you won't be able to understand what is your basic weakness. Of course, we had some videos by our famous teacher Saiful sir, he already explained you that why mock test from a PTE agent center is very important. You can appear for mock test in online like APUNI, Alpha PTE, you can do that but trust me their scoring is unreliable. You should not trust their scoring because you will find it, you will see while you are appearing their exam you will see that their scoring patterns changed a lot maybe sometime you will be getting like 80 out of 90 in one module 
or suddenly you will be getting 35 out of 90. But do you think that Alpha PT or FUNI will one-to-one -one or face-to-face -face will tell you what will be your weakness? What was your mistake? Yes, they can, they can slightly guide you, but they can't give you the exact you know the mistakes like they can give you that flavor the way we will do the way PEC education's trainer will do so you need to be very careful about it while appearing PTE mock test so my request is come to our center and of course sit for mock which we arrange because our mock test pattern is exactly similar to the final exams pattern our AI is almost same so you can get the flavor and also you need to face the surrounding noisy environment you can sit for the exam from home like in a room packed room close the door there is no noise you can do that but that will never be helpful for you you need to sit for the exam in a place where you will be surrounded by noise like for example if i if you come to our center obviously our center is noisy you will hear the noise of the uh, vehicle so you will be acquainted with it the more you noise the more you will be able to focus so try to improve your focus try to make yourself skill that okay in this noisy environment i can sit for the exam and i can come up with a good result okay let's go to the next point let's see that improve your pronunciation my goodness this is very important we all Bangladeshi students, we face sometimes that our, you know, the local accent, like someone from Noakhali, someone from Chittagong, someone from Silet, or maybe Borishal or Mamin Singh. Sometimes your pronunciation brings your local accent. Like when you talk like B or F or S, that sort of sounds come up while you are saying something. So be aware of those. PTE completely accepts British accent okay yes please hold on I'm not telling you to be a British I'm not telling you to be an American or an Australian I'm just telling you to pronounce with a minimum standard our Bangladeshi accent is okay man so you don't need to be bothered just follow it just enjoy your while you are saying something just enjoy while you are saying something because in speaking test you have to be very careful about oral fluency and pronunciation because if you are not fluent if you are not pronouncing clearly AI won't be able to detect your speaking so please be aware of it so try to practice speaking practice with chat GPT we got a new technology right now chat GPT has already included uh, speaking section they have a audio section you can talk to chat GPT or you can do in front of your mirror talk to yourself because most of the time we feel shy to speak in English in front of our friends or bosses boss or like any uh, close someone so we should feel as confident we should feel confident that yes I can speak the way I am speak right now, I, I, I never, I, I was not an Englishman, I am not an Englishman and I never, yes of course I met with lot of English people, I practiced myself, so I had a goal that yes, I have to improve my speaking skill, so try to do lot of practice, this is very important. Let's go to the next topic, take breaks and stay motivated. What do you think? Take breaks and stay motivated. Take a Kit Kat break, have a Kit Kat, have it in your mouth and then take break. Yes, take a break. It means that sometimes we take preparation for a very strict timing. No, 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 you don't need to. Like your exam will be after four days and you are coming to us and telling us, sir, we have four days in our hands, sir. We have PT to complete our PT. PTS course ta sir 4 din asa sir 4 din er moddhe sir ektu dekhay den amar preparation asa no that's not the way you should take preparation for PTE test you should take at least one and a half month two months is enough two and a half months will be best because you still don't know how hard it is you know from your friends that PT is a very easy and you can get your desired score within four days or five days of preparation no I'm sorry I'm really sorry so while you are taking preparation at home 
please don't rush yourself while you are practicing PT. Just take one hour of study, do one hour of study, one hour of study, then uh, go for a break and then come back, then do another and don't study everything in one day. Don't study like the whole reading section, whole um, uh, speaking section, whole writing section, no. Today you do speaking and only one or two tasks. Then next day, do choose another band and do one or two tasks. Do it in this way. Take a break. Because if you don't take break, you will be like bored. You will get sleep and also get motivated. Because if you don't motivate yourself, no one will motivate you. No one. Because maybe you will get an idea from your friend. Hey, yeah, dosto, tu to onek bhalo, tu parbi, chinta No, that's not. That's sort of motivation you need. You need to motivate yourself. Okay, I'm good, and what I am doing now is correct, and I shall be able to get my desired score soon, and I'm ready for it. That sort of motivation try to build in yourself to get a good score in PTA exam. Let's move to the next point. Uh, actually, there is no more points left. So what we have discussed right now, I already told you, try to understand the structure and then um, reading and listening pattern, try to improve yourself. Of course, you need to be more careful about writing because writing is typing and also practice PT mock test. You have to be very careful about the authentication of the mock test like you can go anywhere like you can take your i already told you that you can sit for your mock test from alpha pt but alpha pt will not sit with you to guide and tell you that these are the problem you are facing so you need to be very much careful about it and also at the end of the video my request is to you come and visit our center and see how we trainers are training our students to look about to talk about it okay so please in the scroll of the video you will see a lot of information our youtube channel facebook channel and also we have already mentioned our hotline number we have a landline number and a gp number call us and please while you are subscribing our channel try to click the bell icon so that you can get the update and also stay tuned with us Take preparation. Best of luck for your next PT exam. See you in the next video. Bye.